A rally was held today in Butte asking people in Montana to reject a clean water initiative that opponents say will hurt the mining industry. MTN's John Amy tells us why this group is opposed to that initiative. Mining supporters in Montana claim a proposed ballot initiative could spell danger to the mining industry. This is probably one of the most important issues facing the state of Montana right now. A rally was held at Montana Tech in Butte opposing I-186, which was started by environmental groups to stop new mining permits in the state in an effort to prevent pollution of waterways. Opponents at the rally said the initiative is unnecessary and only there to tie up the mining industry in endless litigation. Mining is done responsibly in Montana with the backing of the legislature today. You cannot send one gallon of polluted water out of any mine in Montana. Miners and representatives from mining communities across the state talked about how important mining is to the local economy. We can't continue to cut our budgets and cut our budgets. We, we have about a $15 million total overall budget and we can't cut it anymore. Opponents of this initiative say it's funded by outside interest and won't be a benefit to the state's economy or its miners. When I look at I-186, it reminds me of a paste picani sauce commercial. Made in New York City. It's not about Montana clean water. It's about locking up Montana and throwing away the key. And that's what these New York people want to do. And while the initiative has not yet been placed on the November ballot, opponents vow to continue to fight against it. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. And just so you know, initiative supporters have until Friday to get the required amount of signatures to put it on the uh, November ballot.